Welcome to the talk show of William English Institute at State. Today's discussion point will be sales and marketing. Sales and marketing brings revenue to the hotel operation or other hospitality operation. It generates sales to the business. It brings the return on investment down. Today we have notable alumni Asunta to talk about sales and marketing and her career. Hi Asunta. Hi Sekasun. How are you? Good. After you? some time? Yes, a very long time. Very long time. After yes. about five years? Yeah. Nearly about five years. Nearly five years. Five years. Yes. So, how, first of all, now, where are you? What are you doing? And Okay. Um, currently, I'm with Resplendency Lawn. And currently, I got promoted. Recently, I got promoted to the Assistant Sales Manager. So, uh, yes. That's that it. is the current yeah. situation. <laughs> because you are very special to us. Why you are very special to us? You have two careers. One is banking and hospitality. So uh, these viewers would like to hear your career in banking career and hospitality career. Yeah, I would say three careers with oh, my you kids. Three, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the family, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, I was a banker for almost six years and then uh, then I had the, I had my first baby and then I thought, okay, I should stay home and then look after him once he starts school and all that. So when I was at home, my husband and me, we both love to travel. We both are foodies, as you can see. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> we can see very well. <laughs> I, have, so, I have a lot of experience also in the back in the days of our food. Yeah. yeah. So with all and all, my husband just suggested one day, why don't you try studying hospitality tourism and something like that and actually i went to a couple of places and with my age at that time they said i cannot but fortunately william, uh, william Lewis, Lewis. yes opened up their doors to me so i was really excited after seeing the campus and how the lectures are happening and everything also i had another feeling i was scared because i'm starting to study after some time after about 10 years? 10 years, 10 years yeah. It's current. not easy. Not easy, yeah. Not easy at all. But then, yeah, everything went really, really well. No, uh, Asuna, it's uh, your banking career is very interesting. In your profile, it says you have won a couple of awards. <laughs> uh, HSP, uh, you work for HSP. HSP, yeah. correct. Uh, so, uh, you have won a silver award for outstanding performance in 2005. Yes. And also gold, gold award for outstanding pro uh, performance in 2006. Yes. What are these? Because uh, you have done your uh, good work at uh, banking career too. Uh, well, I'm a, I think like... I'll serve you coffee sure. while you're talking here. Yeah. When I start something, I'm really into it and I want to do my best. So I guess they recognized my work and how I worked. This performance is for uh, which area you were in basically? First I joined at verifications. Uh -huh. Yeah. So uh, then afterwards I was transferred like which joined as contract staff and after joining Sugar? No sugar? One. one. Yes. Okay. So after uh, some two, yeah after one year or so um, we were we joined we joined to the permanent card uh -huh. and was I was transferred to uh, Sales and service quality. Okay. So, yeah. so, sales and service quality assurance. Yes. Yeah. At the initial, you were at the management services. Uh, verification. Verification. It's a credit card related uh -huh. process. Yes. Okay. So, where did you win your uh, awards? Uh, in the sales, sales uh, service quality? Uh, or at the verification. At verification. Yes. So. yes. Yeah. Okay. So? So, then um, I was working there for quite a long time, yeah. I must say. You have worked a yes. very long time. Yes. There. So, uh, then uh, after the baby, then I stayed home and then I started studying, which was a big turning point, I must say. The education. Education, yeah. 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 Because uh, I, when I was small, I, I had so many, you know, yeah. ambitions, you know, if you ask, Okay, I want to become an engineer because those days, those were the key, key. norm things, doctor, lawyer, engineer, but yeah. I was like, okay, let's go with engineering. <laughs> <laughs> but then after doing my uh, maths paper in all the words, I decided, no, I can't do engineering. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then I wanted to become a pilot. Yeah. Uh, 
yeah, so it changed like so now uh, if, you, if you look at if you look at your educational uh, background you have work you have done your IT, a, IT yes. then computer studies yes. HR, HR then hospital yeah, yeah it's like I want to do everything <laughs> you want to do everything yeah that's very fascinating though see uh, going back to your school days St. Paul's Milagrio yes yeah. so the experience uh, how did it happen oh that was a lovely time uh, we we were like I was a prefect uh-huh. and I was in the netball team I was a captain yeah and i was in the swimming team i was in the dancing team yeah. i was the way, outgoing event. character <laughs> yeah outgoing character so many yeah. events yes yeah. so uh, yeah it was a lovely amazing time i met a lot of friends i'm still we, we have a lot of good friends with them i'm contacts with them so that's the school days and then again after about 10 years i felt like i'm going to school yeah. with the that's books. coming to william engis yeah. <laughs> yes yeah with But you were the eldest, you know. Yes, in yes, that was the main yeah. reason. I was at the orientation. I was sitting alone, and I'm like, okay, all these young people are there, and what am I supposed to do? The new generation. New generation, generation yeah. and like you I, and I, we are in the same generation. Yeah, we we <laughs> have to deal with all new generation, generation X, Y, Z. Yeah. Yeah, because so, I don't know whether like I'll be like you know cornered or whether I like to do it because I don't want to stop it. If mm-hmm. I start something, I want to continue with continue it. Continue it. So because of that, I was like, okay. I told my husband also, like, can you also do the same course with me? He's like, no, I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> so so. It, this was the very first uh, days, or what? How the first days? First. Yes. So then uh, afterwards, I felt but afterwards from, you yeah, from this lovely building, yeah, people yeah. here, yeah. and I'm still in touch with them. Yeah. All all my friends. So it was an ama- amazing journey. You you became sister to them. Right? Yeah, I was like sister, mother, mother, sister, sister <laughs> all all sort of stuff. Yes. So it's good that uh, we came to English memories. Now um, I guess some of the surprises also for you. Okay. So the English memories. Um, uh, we like to hear about English memories. How did you? <sighs> Where to start? Where to start? <laughs> Where to start? That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were like. That was like we were talking earlier. They also like the slightest event or s- like, let's take heritage. We did that event. Ah, the yeah, yeah heritage. heritage. I remember that. Yes. Yeah. So that was a local. Local. Yeah. So I was in charge of that event. You were so, wearing an osari. Yeah, I was wearing an osari. <laughs> I I didn't know that I had to wear till the last moment, yeah. and then chef came and no, you have to wear an osari. I'm like, okay. It's a it's a batik osari. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can remember. Yeah. Black, 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 yes, black one. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I mean, we took it quite like really seriously, like with the chef, the food, and the invitees, and it so, was well organized. Well organized. Well organized yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So then afterwards, we had. Have so many events. So many, so events, many events. So many events. And coming to the conferences. Yes. You all started conferences. We started. Yes. You started yes, conferences. Yes. Yeah. The conferences. Uh, the experience. Experiences of, till about what seven, eight, nine. I think we were here, and then the sometimes in, I don't see my kids <laughs> because they're fast asleep. Interestingly, the the in the conference for the VIP, they have made coffee without hot water. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no things happen. Things happen. Things happen. Yeah. But anyway, it's a learning yeah, curve. Yeah, learning curve. Yeah. So as of now, uh, now when when you look at your profile, I really impressed with your uh, the background. You have worked for Shangri-La Hambantota, then water stage, uh, different banquet events, yes. and you know all these things. How you how do you feel? How what's the difference you see the banking sector? In? and uh, uh well after hospitality. joining hospitality i think i realize i'm um, good with people rather yeah. than s- working behind a computer mm. with numbers okay so uh i'm enjoying it i'm thoroughly enjoying it at yeah. the moment so i mean y'all organized these events for us and the exposure we got was amazing because we don't know like i have not done fnb or i have not done a project with A top GM. So yes, correct. That was that was like a pretty amazing experience. Yeah. So, so now, 
uh, there's very interesting fact here you have work you have work at water sage for dilma high tea challenge yeah now you work for the same I company <laughs> <laughs> you coincidentally you work for the same I company know. so yes. how do you really see this connection between uh, resplendent salon and uh, dilma first i must say i'm so proud to be a part of resplendent family we call it yeah so i'm honored to represent Yo. our three resorts okay and uh, yeah and also when i was back working at cinnamon uh, i handled one event like the reservation part was had done by me so yeah. something must have been telling me yeah, to yeah, come, yeah. To come to this thing, this, <laughs> this uh, yeah, yeah come on our wings so now uh, you i come to your graduation later on yes. uh, after your graduation you joined cinnamon dex Yes, um, I stayed at home for some time. Like I, you know, kids and my mom and personal reasons. So I took a kind of a break. Yeah. So then uh, I, then I started because I saw everyone else was working, and I'm like, I should use my qualifications. It's yeah. in vain if I don't work. So then I applied, and then I got reservations because initially I was yeah Thanks. I. was invited like asked to join uh, the front office uh-huh. but uh, since it was my first job in hospitality i wanted to work in back office maybe le- i wanted to learn reservations is under sales or front office sales, sales. yeah so uh, i said no i will work at reservations and then i learn everything and then maybe later i will try different departments That's interesting. Well, I joined William Mangis to be a chef. That I okay. forgot to say. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, uh, good that you remind William Mangis again. So yeah. now I have some of the William Mangis memories here, right? See, better you find where you wow. are. Wow, lovely to see. Okay, yeah, with Serena, yeah, I'm uh, here. So we are missing Serena also. Yeah, yeah. I miss her anyway. Serena, Saju, <laughs> Saju, Vishini, yeah, Jaini, Jaini, yeah, Rochelle, Rochelle. Right. The gang. So, these are some of the events that you have done. Yes. Participated rather. Participated, yeah. Yeah, you. Were. Yeah, we did, didn't want to miss any of the yeah. parties when it says uh, events. We it was a party for us. So. Ah, <laughs> uh, we forget Minal also. Ah, uh, Minal, Minal, yeah, Minal Rakita Vino. Minal Rakita yeah. Vino, right? So, um, so now going back to um, your graduation days, right? So, or uh, the graduation, graduation itself. Yeah. You won an award. Yeah, it was a surprise. <laughs> it was a surprise. I have this award with me. That's Finance and Hospitality Operations Award. Yes. Sponsored by Golf Is Hotel, right? How did you really feel when you get this award? I was over the moon actually yeah. when they called my name. Did you expect name. something? No, I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Because the 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 like the batch were talented. Like, yeah. Everyone was like top like top in their game. Yeah. Like I'm like. You know, I was scared. Like I'm doing my studies after a very long time, and I don't know whether I can study. And yeah. you know, I can remember the monster came and one day said, "Okay, look here, these are the results." And then he scared. Maybe was scared, and I locked myself in a room and studied for this <laughs> exams because it was like a new journey for me. So now, as of now, again, school days, the English, uh, the teaching experience from foreign lecturers. Yes. You all had a lot of foreign yeah. exposure. So how this. happened how did it help you it's amazing because um local lectures and foreign lectures it's a blend no for you different yeah. perceptions how they like you know want us to learn and it's like hand or hands on like practicals and all that and they be did the coffee Deb. they are Deb Deb. did the coffee training and uh, also uh, i think uh, Which one? Uh, Is it Steven? Kamal, Steven, yes. Steven, no, uh, Kamal. Kamal didn't there. know. Kamal, yeah. yeah. Catherine, no. Catherine, I actually probably yes. Mm. Yes, oh no, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Asunta is talking about D and Catherine. You might wonder who these people are. They are Australian friends who are coming from William Mangis Institute, Australia, to develop our youth for the next gen- generation. So. so they are amazing they are coming here and they are teaching our kids about uh, 
coffee and coffee arts, coffee arts yes. and barista yes. and some management subjects as well. Yes, yes. Some management subjects as well. So About the coffee, the history of the coffee, it was amazing. Yeah. So, so that's all about our foreign lecturers, those who are in the campus. And it's another endeavor for whoever was coming to the campus. So uh, now coming to the today's discussion point about the sales and marketing in a hotel in general perspective. Um, what are your views? Sales and marketing is a key point to any, any company, especially hospitality. It is the key point because we bring in the sales to the company. So it's how we represent, how we have the relationship with the other par parties will play a major role. So you handle business to business? B2B. Yes, I handle the local agents. Mm -hmm. So um, you have to have that rapport with them. You have to lobby them, lobby them. them. You know, you have to answer Pamper the them. calls. They'll have, they'll ask the same question hundred times, but you need to answer. Yeah. Every time the same so way. Covering so. targets and all, you are pressurized or you are enjoying the job? Or? There is no pressure per se, to no. be honest. No. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. So it's like how we, that's what I said, the marketing we have done, IMD, mm. Somali Fernand and all that, how they have done the marketing brings in sales to yeah. us. Yeah. It, it attracts. Yeah. So, so it creates the it environment. Creates, yes. Okay. So, um, Again, going back to the theoretical aspect of sales, like uh, working with travel agents and also DMCs, digital yes. companies. So negotiating rates and all you do? Yes, it is. Yeah. There is. Yeah. Every time, they, especially during uh, after Easter tax yeah. and also because everyone was suffering. Okay. Everyone. So hospitality is the first trade will su <laughs> suffer, suffer yeah. hit by yeah. a bomb being or pandemic situation that is the first area yeah. so we have to be tactful we need to save our business as well as we need to cater to their needs yeah, yeah. so i think that's where the salesperson's uh, role, role coming, comes in yeah. like majorly yeah so uh, now again what are your again going to uh, english uh, lifetime uh, or rather lifeline. So, uh, how do you see the English qualification to you? Is it worthwhile to you? It is. is. It? Oh my God. Yes, it is. Because, I mean, hospitality and it, ha it, it like, you know, indoors, like coming from William Angley's yeah. Australia. Australia. Everyone knows it's not, not an unknown place. Yeah. So, they know. When they're, when they're recruiting, they know, okay, this person is well educated overall and it's hospitality management. It's not only one, one, one area, uh, it's uh, everything, uh, everything, everything is covered. Yeah, yeah. So back from back end to front end. Front and end, and yes. Everything. HR, yeah. accounts, so sales, law. Sales, marketing, law you know, is, events. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <law>. <laughs> They would subject. Yes, but we, we everyone got A's. Yeah. So you know, yeah. Dimuth is now the uh, acting senior academic head. Oh, nice! Uh, I should congratulate yeah, you. Yeah, you then. should. Yeah. <laughs> right um, now, uh, other than this, you are a mother. How do you spend your time with your children, kids? Back in uni days, or. And now. Every day. <laughs> and now. <laughs> yeah, so, um, like you all know, I'm the only child. So, yeah. I have my parents living in with me. Lucky me. Yeah. So, uh, I have two boys. So, sometimes I do miss them because, you know, when we, when we were handling like events. Events in the school, in the in, campus. In the, in the campus. Yes, yeah. It, like, you know, sometimes I, that's why I said I don't even see them because we drive. I, like, by the time I go home, they must be like, like they are asleep. Yeah. So luckily my husband and my parents were there yeah. with me yeah. all that time. So they were like a big support to me. So they, my kids also loved that they are also going to school. My mom is also going to school. <laughs> like it, it was like a really nice, like a energetic moment for them also. Like to even say my mom is also going to uni and yeah. you know, yeah. been saying to his friends and it, it's really good to the other moms as well, I yeah. guess. That's an example. Ex example yeah. and eye opener. It's not that your life doesn't end when yeah. you just get kids. 
you have a life ahead yeah. that so so now also you ba- can manage yes that. i can manage my work because uh, resplendent is where they care about your staff that's why i call resplendent family yeah. we call it rc yeah. family yeah. so whatever the issues or problems we have say exam the kids are sick husband is sick they are, they, are, they understand you yeah. very well yeah. Yeah. and and also uh, we have like a global system like we can access anywhere at home or if you are in another country so it doesn't matter as long as the work is done yeah so that's like a big advantage that's one of the biggest advantage yeah. <laughs> so what are your hobbies oh hobbies can i put Foodie. Sleep? yeah, yeah. Uh, can i put sleeping as a hobby yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, i love to travel okay uh travel is but your l- job helps you a lot to travel everywhere yeah yeah, yeah 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 because all three resorts are in three different places yeah. K- valley gama valley yala Patton and yala yeah, yeah. so yeah so we are doing a fam next week also okay so i'm really happy my friends call me okay you're paid to go on vacation <laughs> <laughs> i'm like uh, yeah that's my job so when it comes to your food what is your preference of food is it fast food or street food or? when i was young i was a fast food well, person yeah. but now it's more like authentic or maybe fusion uh-huh. i would love i love fusion food fusion food. yes any combinations or anything sri okay. lankan because that is i think after joining resplendent because most of cuisines are like fusion, fusion. yes fusion. With sri lankan and so after joining there i think i learned a lot about a food lot about also food. like the food philosophy okay <laughs> yeah so yes hobbies are trips sleep you are sleeping then you have i love uh, i love the beach okay i'm a, like a beach person yeah. so that's beach why girl. beach girl yeah. Yeah, that's why i never <laughs> went to australia or anywhere else uh, because uh, i didn't want to okay in one point actually i was we were considering but then i'm like no i can't i want to go to the beach <laughs> every month <laughs> okay so asu now uh, asu asu is our <laughs> yes uh, the slang language and the friendship <laughs> word asu uh, uh, now the entire world is facing a uh, virus pandemic how do you see this what's your view it, it it's a unfortunate situation and unexpected because we we saw this happening like beginning uh, of like late december jan because we saw the chinese people were cancelling the bookings and all but never expected it to be spreaded like this this much yeah. never never yeah. in a million years we never expected so it i mean no one was ready for it so it's a learning point for everyone any country that you know you don't know what's coming ahead yeah but you need to toughen up and then run your show it is it you is. need to run your show uh, today's discussion point we were very much focus on uh, the sales and marketing or the specially sales aspect of a hospitality organization how this works how it amalgamates with another businesses negotiating with rates and so on and so forth so today we were privileged to have asunta vijay singh uh, assistant sales manager at resplendent ceylon to talk about her experience as now finally your industry and your mm-hmm. friends yes. are waiting for your message well like i said uh, i mean ambitions change when you're small maybe your parents because pe- like parents pressuring or the relatives are pressuring because of that you might do something that you don't like but still you have the choice you you have the choice to be anyone you want so i never expected that i'll end up in hospitality and being in sales especially so being a banker to a hospitality person it's amazing it's 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 a it's a roller coaster actually i must say hmm. but just because say for an example in my situation i got married when i was young i had my babies when i was young but it didn't stop it didn't stop me from learning or working or it doesn't have to stop whoever who's there out there just don't be disheartened just because you're married and have kids it's it's amazing to be a mom and to be 
like you know women especially women they are super women like superman super women i don't know so you can do so many work simultaneously it's you can study you can look after your kids you can work you can take care of your family your parents everything can help your husband everything can be managed if you determine you have to have determination do not lose faith have faith in yourself love yourself and you can achieve anything today's discussion point is all about sales and marketing but finally she is telling believe in yourself impossible as possible that's what we all have to say hospitality is a passion it's not a job Thank you very much for joining with us for the talk uh, for the talk show. We shall meet up with another day with another topic. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. Thank you. Thank you.